hello viewers this is dr rama and i am back again with my new videos and i was busy with my family from last uh, uh, five to six months and uh, i haven't enough time to spend on this channel but now i can have a sufficient time to uh, share the some new videos with you uh, before i start uh, telling you the today's content of the video but uh, i must say one thing that uh, please do not send me the emails uh, on the topics on your research topic and asking directly assistance from me i am not going to assist you or you can say that to solve your problem directly i can give you the tips only that you can use this method or other so especially the mtech students who are writing the thesis don't ask me for the for their code to modify you can ask me my basic course you can take it you can apply it in your problem and if it's helpful for you then it's fine so in the last six months uh, i have received a lot of emails from the different countries uh, they are actually asking for some basic and some are asking for their research problem so i am only sharing some of uh, the issues they are uh, the researchers the beginners are asking for and the channel is actually for the mtech or btech uh, the undergraduate or postgraduate research students they want the basic knowledge and trying to explain it so channel is actually dedicated to the researchers the beginners so so i'm happy if they are asking something which is a basic thing so i go with the some type of uh, the problems they are actually asking with so they are asking their ma major questions are uh, two or three or four i have just bulleted the first question is that what is the best quality to image which you can use in the research paper and how you get it from the MATLAB, MAPL and Mathematica and other softwares. Though there are very powerful softwares are still available, they have the several format just like in MATLAB. You can use any of the format. But this question is actually uh, uh, is, uh, is, is uh, really interesting when you are working with uh, Microsoft Office or Open Office. So which format is really helpful and have a good clarity I am just going to discuss today in this video. But still there are other questions are there. Some of the asking with the nonlinear FM code they want that without linearization but some of the differential equations don't have uh, this type of privilege that you can linearize that and then find out the solution like this is tangent of y is in this differential equation. This is just a sample. Some of asking for the LaTeX presentation, even for the likes presentation, they are asking for. HPM method I have discussed, some are asking for the HAM, differential quadrature, uh, even DTM method is there, Adonian decomposition methods, are there are several methods are there. So I am going to discuss one by one in my upcoming videos and hope you will like that videos. And now I quickly come back again my first question that uh, uh, what kind of, uh, you can see the format you can use for the paper generally the research paper uh, they want the eps format because many of people are working in the latex and you are using the mathematical terms but if you don't use the mathematical terms they are do you can use the microsoft word so uh, then you can also uh, use the images in png format or in jpg or tiff format is mostly acceptable but if you go to the map, I come with a sample that the demo which I'm going to show you yet. So this is the this is a graph which is made of this, and the graph has resolution is 1000. So if this kind of resolution, if you make with so you then what kind of clarity you are getting? So in the this maple, this is a maple 18. I am using it. If you you can see that this is a maple 18. The, this is a yeah, this this is written here in the maple 18. I'm using this. So in this graph, if you export this, so this is only few formats are available. Bitmap we don't require. PNG you can use it. GIF, JPG is not very acceptable. Portable PDF is directly you can convert it. Not acceptable in the world. Uh, window uh, this window mat file you can use it, but still not have good clarity. EPS is very good. So you can save this file in the EPS format. I can just save it. I have already saved this for. Yeah, this is EPS format. But if you say that some of uh, journals they can say that you can use PNG format, so I can save this in the PNG format. Now I can see that the which is graph is clear and why. 
so when you use the PNG format so where is PNG yeah, this one is a PNG format so I can copy this sorry yeah, this is a PNG copy this and I can paste this here yeah uh, graph is quite good it's not very bad graph but still it is not very clear it, because the resolution is already taken is less but uh, you can see that when you zoom it this channel is blur lines is blur so it's not when you get the printout maybe it's not getting a that much of clarity which you want even if you write the text on that they are not very clear like here you can see the H is not very clear so this is the PNG format which is available in the uh, in the maple. So if you're using such type of software which has a very limited number of exports are available. So you, what you can do, uh, there is a options, you can use this EPS but now uh, it is not possible to directly import the EPS in the uh, Microsoft Office in 2007 even onwards 2010. So what is the best thing that you can use this software this is software called uh, adobe illustrator so i can just just show you the name this is ai log illustrator i will just open the eps file inside this you can see that eps file can be opened easily by this software and you can save as this software and you can save this with other formats which is not available here so there is another option you can just save export option is there export as this is enhanced meta file so this is something new you can just save it and if you have heard it earlier then it is fine but this is for the beginners they might not heard it this is the eps ema file you can click it it is easily open in the paint you can see the clarity is now is good it's just like the EPS file clarity and uh, if you just copy it and you can paste this I think after this yeah and now you can see the difference of the graphs you can just zoom this then you can see the clarity on the lines so it is uh, I think the best format which you can use in the Microsoft Word and if you wish to save this in the PDF which is generally submitting in the journal so I think uh, this is already open so I can close this uh, yeah so you can see the PNG is blur but you can see that EPS is damn clear so I think that in when I uh, when I doing the research I am using the EPS I am not uh, even I have used the TIFF format in the world, but now I can see that EMF it has comparatively extra edge as compared to the other. Now the issue is that how you get this AI and it is not a free software. So there are other things which you can use if you don't have this software. There is so this is the website conversio.co.in. Here you can convert any EPS file just like that I have just placed this from this computer I can convert this and from any format to this so if you want to convert to EPS to EPS, you can use this so this chat is a from this you can convert I think uh, free of course without any sign up you can convert as many as but one by one you, you have to if you wish to add all of your files EPS in this yeah if you if you have using your search problem obviously you want this adobe illustrator so to have your secrecy of your graphs otherwise if uh, if you don't uh, bother much and if you want one or two graphs so you can use this website so this is all about today's uh, video and hope you will like this video and please do subscribe my channel if you have uh, first time watch this video and uh, please wait for my upcoming videos and try to cover as many as questions from your site and thank you very much